All right, so God bless you, brothers and sisters. Again, <laughs> I have another video for you all, another uh, warning video. So bear with me. Um, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, so God bless you guys. So I have a very interesting dream I wanted to share with you all. It's interesting because of how it happened in my dream. Um, this is so, okay, I don't even know where to start. I, I was in a house and then out of nowhere, um, all the lights went out. It's completely, complete darkness. And so I stepped outside of my house and I looked down the street and as I'm looking around, I started to see like power outages left and right. It was no power, it was no power. And then it was completely dark outside. It like sackcloth dark. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm like this, I was like, and I heard in the atmosphere again, I heard this is a fulfillment dream. Now, when I heard that, that said, I immediately jumped back to the dream I had. Um, I posted about when I was writing um, in Hebrew in my sister's house about, you know, the days of darkness. I was, I was telling her. And in that dream, it was like, you know, the darkness was coming and it was like, it was just like all power outage and then... It was just no no sun, no moon, nothing. It was just dark. And so it, it, it was like that. But then also it connected to a dream that in the dream, I thought of a dream that I had prior that I should have uploaded that I never did in warning. And so the atmosphere, I feel definitely was the Holy Spirit telling me this is a fulfillment of the dream I never posted. And so that was then... Um, a fault of mine because I, I when I was outside in the dark I was like I should have posted this video to let uh, my brothers and sisters know and I didn't so now I'm going to do it now I'm going to tell them now but by that time it was too late right and so um I, and then I looked around and I was able to see like as the darkness was coming there was still a little bit of light but I started to see these white beings come out of like these this tall grass they were like sickly pale color like very disgusting like gray patches and um they were coming out and they had like sparse hair and their eyes were bloodshot like red and they and um they were going after people and these people were on the ground, they were crawling and they were touching the ground trying to find where they could go, uh, they couldn't see. And, and, and the darkness was not only affecting their eyesight, but it was also, they were, they were deaf, dumb, and it was, they were deaf, dumb, and mute. That's how bad it was. And they were just on the ground at this point, defenseless, touching the ground, trying to find where they were going. And then I'm over, I'm standing up and I'm looking around at this, this terrible situation. And I'm like, oh my God, I did not get to tell anybody about this. I should have, I should have done what I was supposed to do. Right. And so, um, as these beings are walking over to these people who are completely defenseless, I pick up a stick. I pick up a stick and I'm, I'm like, get away from them. I was like, I rebuke you in Jesus's name. And then they turn around on me and they hiss at me and they start coming after me. And then I immediately start praying. I'm like, God, please, please forgive me for my, my, you know, my transgressions, my iniquities. I'm like, wash me in the blood of Jesus. Cause uh, I'm like, wash me in the blood of the lamb. Because I knew in that moment, I was like, I'm going to die. I'm like, I'm going to die. And I'm, and I'm like, but I'm going to die protecting these people. And so I'm like, I, I'm the best one that can do it right now because I'm the only one that can see, hear, and speak. And so um, as they try to get close to me, I'm like, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I bind you in Jesus' name. And I start to, and, and they try to reach out for me, but they can't touch me. And my whole body becomes light. And I, it's like light around me within five feet, like a five feet, a five feet radius. And so then I swing the stick. But when I swing it, it becomes a sword and it's cutting through these little demon beings. And then I, I like immediately when I wake, I, I wake up right after this. And um, I and this was this was this was again last week. And I waited to the day to post it. But um, when I had this dream last week, 
uh, God told me, he was like, share this with your sister in Christ. And so I went to go share it with her, but then I forgot to do it. Just like, like, and that's just how the enemy operates. When you have something important to do, he tried to swipe your mem memory. We need to pray against that too, because there are like, um, demon snatchers, uh, dream, dream snatchers everywhere. And so it's just like you have to, and dream weavers and this end of and divination spirits. So we have to pray against that when we wake up immediately because the dream is extremely clear. And so um, I'm like, and the first thing I started thinking in my spirit was EMP. And so I don't, I've never, that's not something that comes up as a normal conversational piece. I don't say, oh yeah, it's going to be an EMP. No, nah, that's not what I do. So um, when I thought that, it, it was just so, it was so different. And I knew that it was uh, for a specific range of places. And I knew it was like the DMV area, DC, Maryland, and Virginia area. And so I didn't know when it was going to happen, but I knew that um, in the dream, it was, it was fulfilled. Like it happened while I was there. So it happened in the future. And I never posted the dream because I didn't think anything of it. So I'm doing it now. Because um, I just want to be obedient and I don't want any type of blood on my hands because I didn't share what I was supposed to because God told me to and I didn't and I was disobedient. Um, so um, there was right, at, right after that dream, um, I started making all the connections between the dream I had in August about the... Um, about the demon that's over the East Coast. And then the recent dream I had in September, the first week of September about the Wendigo. And then this dream I had last week. So all of these dreams, I think are the same beings. I think are the same things. And I think those things came out of the darkness because I feel like during the darkness when it happens, these demons are going to run rampant trying to attack any and everybody who is defenseless. And you don't want to be caught outside. You don't want to be caught unprotected. You don't want to be caught in your sin to be destroyed. I'm just going to say that period point blank. So again, I, I want to say a quick prayer. At first, I wasn't going to even pray, but you know, I feel like the Lord is leading me to pray. So. Father, I come to you as humbly as possible right now, Lord, and I just ask that the Holy Spirit speak through me, Father God. I ask right now as we're on the outside of the gates that you just wash us in the blood of the Lamb, Father God, that you wash us in the crystal river, that the Holy Spirit speaks through us for any situation, Father God. I pray right now as I lift up my brothers and sisters in Christ who need your help and need your guidance, Father God, I pray that you heal them, Father God. I pray that you protect them, God. I pray that you place a light, a flame within their hearts, Father God, so when the darkness does come, be it artificial or be it um, a be a natural father God be a spiritual or be a physical father God that you be the one to light their path and, and deliver them father God I ask for deliverance and we receive it right now father God for this day and for the future father God I pray against those spiritual things those spiritual beings that were coming out of the out, out of the grass to attack the defenseless father God we bind them up right now we ask that you Father God, send them into dry places, Father God, that you bind them up and you send them away from us, Father God, that you put a hedge of protection around my brothers and sisters in Christ and you send warring angels to pull down any strongholds that could be operating against them. And God, we just want to give you glory and we want to give you honor and we want to give you praise for the deliverance of, uh, of us, Father God, and the protection of the people not only in this country, Father God, but the people in other countries as well that's dealing with the same persecution and same struggles. And we thank you for, uh, and we thank you for that right now. Now, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So, glory to God. Um, and forgive me if you guys were hearing the chirping sound. That's my fire alarm. I'm still trying to get it fixed. <laughs> so, God bless you guys and have a great day.